I am Bay Allen. Welcome to Auto Harp at the Altar. It is my pleasure to bring you a new song each week right here on the channel. We dig into songs of the faith or hymns. Um, today we are digging into the song, And Can It Be That I that I Should Gain? Um, this comes from, the words are Charles Wesley from 1739. Music is Thomas Campbell from 1835. And this is just one of 41 uh, arrangements that I have written for the auto harp uh, for Easter and Lenten hymns. And so if you have this book, you can just turn right to it and we can play together on this video. Um, if you do not have this book, I'm going to teach you how to do it and you'll be able to get my roadmap over at Facebook. So if you haven't already, make sure that you join the group over there. You'll find a roadmap for this week's song and every other week uh, that I post on the channel. Um, make sure you like and subscribe here on YouTube so you never miss a video when they go live. But I'm going to go ahead and dig into this song and show you how I do it. And so we're in the key of G is where I'm playing it. So you're going to need uh, a one chord, a two minor, a two major, also a four major, a five major, a five seven if you have it, and a six minor. Uh, so what that breaks down to, if you're not used to playing by the numbers, I always teach by the numbers so that you can play in any key. You can transpose it to whatever works for your harp. Uh, but in the key of G, you would need G, A minor, A major, C, D, D7, and E minor. If you have those chords, you're good to go. Um, and even if you don't have the D7, you're good to go. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and teach you. So it starts uh, on the G, so it, it's one, 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 five, one, one, four, or, sorry, one, one, five, one, one, four, four, five, five, one. We'll take that much first, okay? So uh, one more time. It's one, one, one. One five one one four four five five one. Okay, go ahead and pause the video and practice that, and then come right back, and we'll move right along. All right, welcome back. So you should have that first little chunk. Uh, let's go ahead and add a little more to it. One one five one one four four five five one. One four five 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 one five one five two major five. Okay. So once again, one one five one one four four five five one one four five 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 one. Five, one, five, two major, five. Okay, so go ahead and practice that, and then come right back. All right, so you should have the first, the first uh, couplet, if you will, as far as lyrics go, but the first little chunk, the major line is done for the first line. Uh, let's play that together, and we'll move on. One, one, five, one, one, four, four, five, five, one, one, four, five, 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 one, five, one, five, two major, five, hold the five, 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 one, one, five, five, one, one, five. Okay. So let's do that one more time. So we're carrying on that five from before. So it's five, five, one, one, five, five, one, one, five. Okay, go ahead and pause and practice that and then come back and we'll learn the next chunk of this phrase. All right, welcome back. So you should have that. Let's play what we've learned so far from the beginning. So it goes like this. One, one, five, one, one, four, four, five, five, one, one, four, five, 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 one, five, one, five, two major, five, five, 
Five, so it starts low and comes up. Five, five, four, one, four, one, one. I'm sorry, I messed up. Five, four, 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 one, one. Five, one, five, one. So go ahead and practice that. I'll play it one more time because I misspoke. So it's five, four, 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 one, one. Five, one, five. One. Okay, pause, practice that, practice everything we just did, and you have the A part of the song, the verse, if you will, um, even though there's no true refrain. It, you know what I mean? It's the A part. Practice it, <laughs> and then come back. All right, so you should have the A part under your belt. So now let's dig in on the B part, and then we'll put it together. So the B part is, it still starts on that one, okay? So it starts on the B though. So it's, it starts on the B instead of the G. So it's one, five, five, one, five, one, four, four, five, four, five, two, five. And then there would be the pickup of a five, seven right after that. But let's do that one more time. practice that and then come right back all right welcome back so you should have the first portion of this b part let's play it together one five five one five one four four five four five two five five seven one 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 four 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 five 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 one so it's got all those arpeggios there. So it's just, uh, so it's one, and then four, and then five, and then one, okay? So I like to just use these three fingers, dun, 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 dun. and when I'm playing, I'll also just strum with the thumb. So it's a, dun, a pinch, uh, dun 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 pinch dun 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 pinch dun 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 strum something like that so let's uh let's do this one more time so the b part five one four four five four five two five five seven one 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 four 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 five 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 so pause and practice that. Those arpeggios are nice to get under your fingers just so you get used to the spacing. Because that spacing lets you do some fun stuff. <laughs> so make sure your fingers are just used to how far apart they need to be to hit the right notes. Just another tidbit. You probably paused it in your back. But uh, the spacing for chromatic and the way diatonics are generally set up uh, you don't really lose a whole lot because diatonics end up doubling the strings. And so you'll find that that spacing that I'm telling you to practice and get used to, that'll be helpful whether you play diatonic or chromatic. So something good to work on. All right, so we, we have the first chunk of of the uh, B part. So we just need to finish it. So let's play what we got on the B part right now. So it's... One, five, five, one. Five one four four five four five two five five seven one 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 four 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 five 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 one 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 five five four two minor one one six minor two minor one four two minor one five five one okay so it's 
One, 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 five, five, four, two minor, one, one, six minor, two minor, one, four, two minor, one, five, five, one. Okay, I'll do it one more time. One, 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 five, five, four, two minor, one, one, six minor, two minor, one, four, two minor, one, five, five, one. Let's go ahead and pause and practice that. And then you have the whole song. You can come back and we can just play it a little bit. All right, welcome back. So we have the whole song. Let us put it together and see how it goes. Can it be that I should gain? I hope that you enjoyed this song, uh, learning it today, um, and that you can take this back to your church, your your small group, maybe learn it as a special for Easter or during Lent. Again, this comes from my book, uh, Auto Harp at the Altar, uh, Easter and Lenten Hymns. And if you're interested in, per it's, it's spiral bound, so that way it lays flat on your music stand. Um, and so it's got over 40 songs of just the season of Lent and Easter in here. So this is a great uh, resource to have to just throw into your into your bag. If you, if you need to play some specials at church this time of year, uh, this is nice little collection of them you'll you'll see many songs in here that you're familiar with um, you can download a free sample of it uh, there's a link if you follow it in the, in my bio here on youtube um, and also there's information on the facebook group about it um, and i'll try and put in a comment or something on this video just so you have a quick link to it but yeah um you don't have to buy the book i mean you can go over to facebook and get the roadmap for today's song and i'll keep posting songs week after week uh, some within the book, some outside of the scope of that book. Um, but I'm Bay Allen for Auto Harp at the Altar, and uh, I hope you have a great week. God bless, and see you next time.